What's up YouTube, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be talking about how to become a more effective middle blocker. This video was suggested by Flavio Filho. Thank you so much for the video suggestion. Now we're going to talk about what to do with your hands and your forearms. Make sure that you get your feet placed properly. If I'm blocking from the middle, my goal is to position my feet in front of the hitter so their hitting shoulder is in the center of my chest. So when I'm reaching over, I'm able to take away as much space from the hitting shoulder as possible. And remember, you don't want to block the ball, you want to block the hitter because the hitter controls the ball. If I'm blocking a high ball like a 4 or 5, my priority first is to close the block before I read the hitter. Once you get your feet set up in the proper position, I need to reach over the net in one motion. A common mistake that people make when they block is they go up and over, and that's what we call swatting. Anytime the ball waterfalls or it goes in between you, your body, and the net, it's because you're reaching up. So when I'm blocking, if this is the net, I need to reach over and leave only a couple inches from your forearms to the net. It's what people call sealing the net. I like to call it saluting the net. Once I bring my hands over in one motion, I need to leave my arms over the net as long as possible. The longer I leave my hands over the net, the more time that the hitter has to be blocked. Another mistake people make is they do what I call a surprise block. They just bring their hands over and the hitter only has a split second of be blocked. Whereas if you leave your hands over as long as you can, even on your way down, you should be keeping your hands close to the net because you might at least get a lucky touch and slow the ball down. The third aspect is what to actually do with your hands. You want to point your thumbs up to maximize space around the ball. If I point my thumbs toward each other, the ball can go under you. And you want to take as much over and lateral space as possible. It's okay if they hit over you because that's like hitting over a higher net. At least the trajectory is going to be flatter versus downward. But you don't want to let people hit under you. So very important that you leave a couple of inches between your palms, shrug your shoulders forward, and point your thumbs up and get around the ball when you're blocking. You want to have large and stiff hands. That's how you get more stuff blocks. In summary, you want to salute the net in one motion, not swat, right? You don't want to go up and over. Then you want to leave your arms and hands over the net as long as you can to maximize the amount of time you can contact the ball when they're hitting. Then you want to shrug your shoulders and point your thumbs up, keep your palms only a couple inches away to make sure I'm reaching as far over the net and around the ball as possible. video and share it with your friends who are looking to improve their middle blocking game. If you have any other video suggestions, please leave it in your comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.